Today I'm going to show you how to remove the brake pads on the GT4. So jack up the car, take the wheel off, put a couple of your uh, log nuts in place so that the brake disc won't bu uh, bulge around. Put the key in the ignition, turn it, don't start the car and then you can actually change, you can steer the car from here. So. Of course you can only steer the car if you raise the other side, remember that. So if you're only doing one side at a time, or you can only jack one side of the car at a time, you need to steer first and then jack the car, because you won't be able to do this by hand. Anyway, brake caliper is here. So the brake pads are here as you can see, these two, and you got the sliding pins here. The sliding pins are in place. They're pushed into place and then you got a cotter pin in there. I've removed the cotter pins already from mine. Yep, they've already been removed. So what you need to do is just push out the sliding pins one at a time. Now this may be seized or not. Now when you push them, just remember to hold the spring. Get the spring out. So the cotter pins come out and then you can push out the, the pads. So fingers on both sides, push out the pad, okay. Same thing from the other side, it's just a bit more difficult to get your hands there, but you should be able to just prise off the pads. There it is. Now, if you're replacing your pads with new ones, you probably will find that the old ones are worn. And what happens with the worn pads is that the caliper pistons here, they stick out. So, what you need to do is push the caliper pistons back in. To do that, you then have an extra bit of work. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. What you need to do is remove the caliper, the whole caliper, to do this process. So the first thing to do is just to clamp the brake hose so it won't leak fluid. Get some kind of container to pick up the fluid as you open the, do you remove the caliper. So what I use is just this. It's a simple combination of tools, but it clamps the holes without causing any damage. And then what you need is a 14 mil in there to remove the brake fluid pipe. And now you get easier access to the back of the car. Now you need a 17 mil spanner to remove the two brake caliper bolts. Let it breeze, break, break caliper out! Just be mindful that the brake fluid will come out. So you just need to let it drain. I've drained this already, so I don't need to worry about that. Now, my brake fads are fairly uh, they, they're barely any worn at all, so I don't need to replace them. I'm just doing this for the video. The next thing is, 
if you have your calipers worn and your your pistons are pushing out you'll have something like this this is exaggerated but your 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 brake pad your old brake pad is going to be further ahead when you put the new brake pad you won't be able to slot the caliper back in place because of the thickness of your brake disc so what you need to do is push it back now this is easier to do when you don't have the the brake holes connected in there so what you need to do is use the old brake caliper uh, brake pads and get yourself a big C clamp this is a four inch C clamp it has done a lot of work for me over the years but all you have to do is slide in the C clamp and you may not be able to fit it with your both calipers so you may need to remove one caliper to slide the C clamp in place but all you need to do is slide the C clamp in place and then start pushing the caliper back in and that pushes both brake pistons out so at this point you then flip your caliper out you remove the sliders and off there are your brake pads now the fitting process is pretty straightforward now get your new brake pads and slide them into place but before you slide them into place get yourself some copper grease and this is what copper grease looks like it's got the typical copper color and uh, smear a bit on the back on the back remember on the back of the brake pad so that it will be greased between the piston and the back of the brake pad and do it for both brake pads okay so that's the both brake pads now the next thing is the sliders you also want to put a little dab just a tiny little dab that's more than enough on the sliders so this one is already greased because I've just done the job then be careful do not touch this surface of the brake pad because you don't want to grease that hold it from underneath put the sliders in hold the other brake pod slider there's the sliders now I've just missed one thing you need to put one slider in place here and then the other slider goes afterwards so you can put the top slider first just make sure you know which side is top top slider first the bottom slider needs to be put last so that you can add tension to the spring and then put the slider in as you're putting the slider make sure you you rotate it so that you got these holes for the cotter pins so that you can then put a cotter pin so now that you have the two brake pads in place all you have to do is fit the caliper back <laughs> okay so caliper is fixed back in place now pick up the banjo bolt connect it in with the washers replace the washers if you want to and make sure that that little pin that lines up with that hole
Okay. Now you can release the clump. And uh, the last thing to do is to put the quarter pins. So in this case, we just need the smallest quarter pin of them all. There it is. And then open the quarter pin at the other end. So usually it's easier to put the quarter pin, spin the yeah. spin and then open the counter pin and that's it and now you place the other counter pin in there now I am not placing this counter pin because my slider is actually broken and I am getting a replacement slider delivered at the end of the week finally the only thing missing from your job is to bleed the brakes now I'm not going to put that into this video I'm going to do another video at some point in time the bleed nipple for the GT4 calipers is up here well the bleed nipple is <coughs> a size 11 11 mils so you just get someone to help open the bleed nipple pump close release pump close release there's plenty of videos on YouTube on it already. This is all you need to know about replacing the brake pads on the GT4. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.